Hi guys, today I am doing a day in my life video inspired by Marilyn Monroe. I did one of these style videos a few weeks ago where my day was inspired around James Dean and I really enjoyed it so I wanted to do another one but this time I'm going to be basing my day around things that Marilyn Monroe may have done or, or any interests that she had. But I'm going to start my day off cheating a little bit because Marilyn Monroe said that in the mornings as she's getting ready she would warm a cup of milk and then add two raw eggs to the milk and then drink it. And I was considering trying this but then I started getting worried that it would make me feel really ill and I will be feeling sick the rest of the day. So I kind of chickened out drinking the raw eggs but instead I'm going to have some soft boiled eggs instead. So I'm still going to have eggs for breakfast just not quite the way that Marilyn Monroe would have had them. I had to, a uh, funny story, I had to look up what um, soft boiled eggs would were actually called for this video because when I was younger my dad always called them, in fact he still does call them Humpty Dumpty eggs and that's all I knew um, the name of these eggs that with the bread as the soldiers and I just always called these eggs Humpty Dumpty eggs and I thought I'm not going to call them that for this video because that would be just far too embarrassing. <laughs> so yeah soft boiled eggs but I'm still gonna have my my soldiers with them. I don't mean to boast, but I never fail to make perfect soft boiled eggs, although I know my look today will be the day they go wrong, but I'm really bad at making majority of other things. I'm really terrible at cooking, but yeah, I mean, the eggs so far have never failed. Let's see if these are successful. And it's a success. Marilyn said she would exercise every morning, so that's what I'm going to do next. Marilyn said that each morning after I brush my teeth, wash my face and shake off the first deep layer of sleep, I lie down on the floor beside my bed and begin my exercise. It is a simple bust firming routine which consists of lifting five pound weights from a spread eagle arm position to a point directly above my head. I do this 15 times slowly, I repeat the exercise another 15 times from the position with my arms above my head, then with my arms at a 45 degree angle from the floor I move my weight in circles until I'm tired. I do enjoy a form of exercise, I enjoy doing Pilates, but today I'm going to do a bar workout which is working on my legs and thighs. That was a good workout, I'm really tired now. It didn't look like a lot, but it was really exhausting, really got my calves and legs there, but feel good. Marilyn also enjoyed going on walks, it calmed her a lot. And what she particularly loved is going on woodland walks. So I've come to this wooded area and I'm just going to enjoy my time walking through the wood now. And it's very, very peaceful here. I haven't seen anybody else. It's been raining for the past two days, so it's quite muddy here. Uh, but I've got my snow boots on for protection, although they're white snow boots, so the mud's kind of ruining them. I'm wearing this headband now because I'm just about to do my makeup for the day and I'm going to be doing Marilyn Monroe's signature makeup look. Monroe is my beauty icon and I do do this look quite a lot but this first step is something I don't usually do. I'm just going to be doing it for the purpose of this video 
and I'm first going to be applying some Vaseline to my face. Monroe used to apply a thick layer of Vaseline to protect her skin. So that's the first step I'm going to do now. Like I said, this isn't something I usually do. Uh, I usually would apply, apply like a primer. But Monroe's skin was always very shiny. And I'm assuming it's because of all the Vaseline she would use. To get more of Monroe's on camera glow, I'm going to next be using my Aqua Glow Serum Foundation by Stiller. This one here, and I love this foundation. Monroe's face was very heart shaped, so I'm now going to contour along my jawline and my cheekbones. Ooh, had a bit too much on the brush there. Just gonna have to blend all that in. For blush, I'm going to use uh, this one here from Kiko, and it's in the shade Apricot, which I think is probably the closest blush I have to the one that Marilyn wore. Now onto my brows. Marilyn Monroe's brows were very arched and well defined. So I'm just going to shape my brows a bit and then fill them in. And I'm going to use a blonde shade. It's from my Brow Envy kit by Too Faced. And I like this kit because we have a brunette shade and a brown shade in here. And I'm going to use the blonde one because I'm planning on wearing my Marilyn Monroe wig after this just to really fit the part. Now for the fun part, onto the eyes. So I'm going to be first applying my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. I've nearly used the whole lot of it so I'm going to have to use my finger to apply it. I'm now going to be applying a white shimmery eyeshadow over the top. I'm also going to apply that white shimmer shadow to the inner corners of my eyes. And then using a brown shade, I'm going to just blend this above my crease line. Marilyn used to use a brown eye pencil just along her upper lash line. I don't actually have a brown eye pencil, so I'm going to be using just some brown eyeshadow. actually wish I did have an eye pencil because with shadow, it's a little bit more trickier and the colour isn't as pigmented as I would like it to be. And once I reach the end, I'm not going to flick it out like a cat eye. I'm just going to bring the line out following my lash line. So now I've got the the wings almost facing downwards and now under that line I'm going to add a white line. This now is really what makes Marilyn's signature look. And now under that white line I'm going to add the brown shadow underneath and Marilyn used to do this so it looked like a shadow effect so when she wore her fake lashes the brown line looked like a shadow from her lashes. I'm also going to, I better not talk when I'm doing this, I'm also going to apply the white eye pencil along my waterline and then I'm going to add the brown shadow along my lower lash line. I've now added the mascara and false lashes. I did this off camera because I didn't want to poke myself in the eye doing it. I'm trying awkwardly to look at myself in the mirror at the side here while doing this makeup and it's actually very tricky. So yeah, I did this off camera. But what I did was I cut my false lashes in half and just used the ends and stuck them to the, um, the ends of my, my lashes. I'm now just going to contour slightly down the sides of my nose and the tip.
Marilyn used a lot of highlighter, so I'm going to be using a powdered highlighter down the bridge of my nose, the size, the tip, and a bit on my face as well. And now for the lips, I'm first going to be applying a darker lip line. And for the lipstick, I'm going to be using Russian Red by MAC. Marilyn reportedly used to layer up to five different shades of red lipstick, um, but I'm just going to be using one today and a lip gloss. For the lip gloss, I'm using Runaway Red by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And that's my makeup look done. I'm now going to add on my Marilyn Monroe wig. And this is my completed Marilyn Monroe look. I really love this wig. I have a lot of wigs and this one is one of my favourites and it was only £20 from Amazon. I'm really happy with it because I was trying to find the perfect Marilyn Monroe wig for a long time. And I tried a few different ones but I was never really happy with them but I really like this one. Now I'm all done up like Marilyn Monroe, I thought it'd be fun to do a short clothing haul. I've got some clothing pieces that I got because they remind me of Marilyn Monroe style, so I thought I'll show you those items now. This is the first look, the outfit I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this black turtleneck top and these white and black checkered trousers. I also have these white shorts this one kind of reminds me of the green poochie dress that Marilyn Monroe was buried in which was said to be her favourite dress sorry again that this isn't irons but this one reminds me of her classic white dress the one that famously blows up in that photo shoot and finally I got this gorgeous dress which I found from Shein which reminds me of the historic JFK dress which she wore when she sang happy birthday to John F Kennedy and I had a real difficulty finding a dress that was slightly similar to hers because I really wanted it to be um, skin coloured and um, yeah that was a job to find but I was really happy once I found this one it's covered in sequins and yeah I just love it, it's gorgeous That completes this clothing haul. I'm now going to go get something to eat because I'm really hungry now. And I read that Marilyn Monroe really loved eating raw carrots. She made a joke saying that she thinks she was once a rabbit. And uh, so she just had raw carrots with her meat, mostly steak. But um, I'm not really a big fan of steak, so I'm going to have chicken and raw carrots, which I don't think I'm going to have a problem with because. Um, I'm not actually a huge fan of carrots, cooked or raw, but uh, when I was young I did eat quite a lot of raw carrots, so I don't think I'm going to have a problem having that, although it's a very basic meal, but that's what I'm going to go and have now. And here's my dinner, chicken and three raw carrots, really doesn't look the most appetizer. I don't feel completely full after that meal so I'll probably end up snacking later on but first I'm going to do some reading because Marilyn Monroe apparently really loved reading. There is a famous photo of her holding the book Ulysses which was apparently one of her favourite books. Unfortunately I don't have that book and I've never read it before but I did read online that it mirrors the journey of Odysseus from Homer's book The Odyssey and apparently it's written like an epic poem like how um, The Odyssey is written and Ulysses is the Latinized name of Odysseus so I'm going to read the Odyssey um, so I'm going to read The Odyssey by Homer which I have read a few times before I really love this book this is the translated version by Emily Wilson, by the way. 
I really want to get her version of the Iliad that was recently released. Maybe he thought I was a total fool, but I was strategizing, hatching plans so that my men and I could all survive. I read a few more chapters of The Odyssey and now I'm going to go and watch a film and I'm going to watch a Marilyn Monroe film. Probably my favourite Monroe film is Bus Stop, although I do like the majority of her films. Uh, I actually think she's a very good actress. I know some people say that they're, they're not too sure, but um, yeah, I, I really love her acting. But the film I'm going to see today is Gentlemen Prefer Blondes because it was the first film that I ever saw of hers and it was the film that just made me fall in love with her and it was that scene where she comes in in the orange dress um, when she just came into that room in that dress. I just thought, wow, <laughs> I love her. And since then she's become my um, beauty icon. Finish your story, dear. Your table, madam. Good evening. Miss Lee and Miss Shaw. This is Mr. Crosley. Mr. Franklin. Mr. Mason, how do you do? Mr. Brooks, how do you do? How do you do? Isn't Mr. Henry Spofford the third here? And not yet, but I believe this is his chair. Pardon, monsieur. Mademoiselle, Mr. Stafford is here. Oh, Dorothy. Pardon me for whispering. No, please try to make a good impression. Okay. Try this way, sir. Mr. Henry Spofford. Hello. 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 When asked what do you wear in bed, Monroe replied, well, Chanel number no. five, of course. So now I'm going to get ready for bed. And I'll see you in my next video.